live in a world full of crazy people and weirdness that happens every day. And over the course of that time, we always try to look for ways to safeguard our stuff. But in this day and age, there are plenty of ways to prevent that from happening to you. Whether it be ranging from the most expensive security system you can possibly think of, or something inexpensive that a group of people have come together and figured out. And today we're gonna go over that little simple trick using the Raspberry Pi, which I covered in a lot of my videos so far. Call me the Raspberry Pi channel nowadays, huh? So today we're gonna make another variant on the cheap security system solution using a combination of the Raspberry Pi and a simple webcam. Yeah, I know I talked about it in a previous video, but if you have one of these still lying around, then this is just another good project to get your hands on. Luckily for me, I managed to be able to make something better than the last time. Maybe that guy will finally stop stealing my... Again? Now this project won't use as much, not like our previous tutorials, but the cheaper the better in this case. Of course we'll need our Raspberry Pi. In this case, any model will do because our software doesn't need a lot to run. Next is our webcam that we're going to use. In this case I have a spare Logitech camera, but any one will do depending on your budget. Plus with the long cord invites versatile setups. Next is our internet connection, which in this case you'll need an ethernet cable to get started, then if you want to go wireless you can adjust it in the settings later. Our micro SD card to put our software on, and lastly our power adapter to run our Raspberry Pi, of course. The first thing we'll need to do is hook up our micro SD card to the computer. Once that's done, we're going to download our software known as MotionPy in the link below, which will be in a zip file. Once downloaded, unzip the IMG file onto your desktop or wherever you can find it. Next install WinDisk32 if you haven't yet from this link here. Open WinDisk32 and click the folder icon to open the IMG file you just unzipped. Then select the drive letter that the card is under. Click right, and once it's finished, a window should pop up. Then eject the card. Next we are going to hook up our Pi, so make sure your cables are ready in the position you want in your home. Insert the SD card and hook up our components. So our USB webcam, your ethernet cable, your Wi-Fi adapter if you choose to have one, then plug in your power adapter to turn the Pi on. You should see some lights blinking. Wait a minute or two and return to your computer. This is where it gets tricky as you'll need to find the video feed on your network. You can do this in a couple ways, but the way I did it was I went to my router settings and find the devices that are connected, which should vary depending on your router, but you can usually find your router settings using this number. Just type it in the browser URL and it should pop up. Or if you need to, you can look in your router's manual online or if you have it lying around. If you find MotionPy's IP address, enter it into the URL bar and the interface should pop up. Type in admin and click OK. And now you should be able to access your webcam on your desktop. So next let's go over some settings. In this window, you should be able to control some of the camera's features. By clicking on Expert Settings here, you should be able to access your camera resolution and how your camera records video. There are a variety of options to choose from. For example, remember that Wi-Fi adapter I showed before? In order to use this, click the wrench button and under Network, enter your network name and password. Then reboot it. It should take around a minute or two. Then unhook your ethernet cable. Other options include naming your camera and allowing multiple camera feeds. So in this case, you'll need multiple webcams if you want. Securing your camera with password functionality, motion detection, and auto recording, and so on and so forth. So feel free to explore the many options that this small piece of software can do. I mean, hell, I need to stop that guy from stealing my crap so many times. So right now I need some more cameras. Oh my god, he invaded my video! Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want more tutorials, click the subscribe button to see more videos in the future. And if you want to show your support even further, check out my Patreon and consider donating to help the show get better. It'll mean a lot. Bye bye